So it feels like spring and it's feeling nice. Hope everyone's well. Haven't been out on the bike as much as I'd have liked to over the last month. Been really busy at work. Lots of things going on. Taking the dog for lots of walks with them. And uh, you know, work's just been crazy. Designing, developing lots of stuff for the company. And the theory test stuff still on hold. Can't take that because of the national restrictions. On, because of lockdown, theory test centers are still closed. So the whole DAS thing like in March is kind of out of the window, but that's okay. Got loads of other things to keep me preoccupied. My friend, good friend of mine, has just recently uh, bought a new skateboard and uh, I didn't have one because I'd given mine away to the removals guy when we moved from London to Reading uh, the guy kind of showed loads of interest in the board and I mean it just seemed like a nice thing to do uh, but that left me bored less so my friend getting one inspired me to get another one and obviously after that it's all about oh where can I go you know get some practice in because I haven't been skating much for over the last several years really I kind of go out a couple of times a year but I mean the intention's there to do it and to keep keep it all to get going and keep it together but anyway I was like researching parks in Reading and around and there's a couple there's a really awesome looking one in Henley I couldn't believe it it was like a brand new concrete park designed by some really good skaters or skate group and um, so I'm gonna have to check that one out but the closest one to me is Sol Joel skate park um, which is a little rougher but I mean it's good enough you know there's some there's a bowl there and bits and bobs all stuff that you know makes me feel nervous on my board but that's all good but the riding stuff, yeah, I haven't been out as much as I'd have liked to. The weather's been pants, I've, you know, it's been locked down, everyone's been in, been, been getting out like once a week kind of thing. So I have been uh, on it, been making sure it's ticking over, making sure the battery's still uh, got juice in it. That's about that really. Um, oh, other stuff that's been going on is that we've been looking to move towards Bathway. Uh, we just really like it down there. Lived in London for like 18 years. And uh, it was time to move, so Reading was a stepping stone just so we could explore the southwest a bit more. Areas we didn't really know. And uh, we've kind of found somewhere outside of Bath that we really like. So we're just hoping that all kind of ticks over nicely and that we'll be there in a few months. Um, with another place to explore and another place to ride around on the motorbike. It's very, you know, it's much more rural there. Which is nice, it's some like really nice country lanes. I mean it's lovely around Bath. It's gorgeous. Speedy bumps, oh, got to stand up for those ones. Uh, 
and the park's not looking... Oh, there's loads of scooters there. God, that drives me nuts. Oh, never mind. I have to have a session. Got to accept that you don't own the world and it's not going to always be perfect. Sometimes struggles go in neutral. That's all good. Had a few slammer jams, had a few rock and rolls, a few 50-50s, a few more slammer jams, and that was pretty much the sesh. But it was a nice day for skating. Park's good. Did some ollies over the hip. You probably don't believe me, but I know I did it. Um, yeah, just nice to get on the board and like, you know, actually my hands have swollen, literally. Uh, I think that might be because I slammed my like my palm is like swollen up already. It's hilarious. Right, home would bound. Homeward bound. It's a nice little park that, like it doesn't get too busy. Um, so you're not like, you know, at risk and all that stuff of COVID. But yeah, pretty damn cool if you ask me. Feels so good to actually get on the board and exercise. And I mean, there's a bowl there that's like quite large, uh, which feels super sketchy, but I was, had a chance to like carve around it and it's just fun that's what they don't tell you about skateboarding is it's just really good fun wooden play things skateboards and mechanical horses wooden play things and mechanical horses hey right Get some of that wind out. So that's my morning done. It's funny, like uh, on annual leave at the moment and uh, my girlfriend and I have been like, what's Wednesday day? Oh, it's post office day. What's Thursday day? Oh, that's food shop day. It's like there's not as much to be done when you're in lockdown, but you find ways, and this is one of my ways, is like, you know, getting out on the skateboard now, now that I've bought a new one, and riding the bike when I can. If I'm not doing that, um, we've currently been watching Lord of the Rings again, and The Hobbit again, and it's just so good, like, I love that, it's so epic. It's all, all of the sort of the, fanta the fantasy side of it and the, the scenery and oh, it's just so good. So good. So I've been watching that as another way to, but, you know, fill some time in a leisurely way. Um, making homemade pizzas and loads of stuff. We made homemade bao buns the other day, that was like insane. It was a uh, Emma's initiative, but they were so good. Literally, it was ridiculously tasty. I 
I feel like a massive teenager. I'm on a motorbike and I've got a skateboard strapped to my back. I'm flipping 37. Who cares? That's what I say. Who cares? Have fun whilst you can. Oh, I saw this. Uh, there's, a, there's a skate company, a really old skate company that started from a skate magazine called Thrasher. And they always drilled out a graphic on t-shirts that said skate and destroy and there's also a relative newer company called tired and it's run by some older skateboarders and like it's quite amusing that they've called it tired like they're tired skaters but they've just done a collab with thrasher and the t-shirt says tired and destroyed and i was like amen to that tired and destroyed i might get one i might support the cause They're not cheap, of course. My delivery friends, with his Driving dangerously close to that beamer. <laughs> like he doesn't care about his life. Maybe he was tailing in the, the, the speed trails, the wind trails, to gain some speed on his Honda. Oh, he's bombing it! I can't talk, I'm a slow coach. I mean, the change in temperature is crazy, just having a helmet visor down after a skate and it's warm. I would say I'm toasty. I slammed so hard a few times that I uh, have got blood blisters on my palms and my hand. And I also slammed quite badly and rolled off the other side of the quarter pipe into the mud, which was good. You know, remind me of what pain feels like real pain where your body's upside down and you're hitting some concrete nice nice way to spend your hot, your annual leave you know hit some concrete with your body come on beamer mr beamer mr 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 beamer Mr. Darbalim. Um, time for lunch, I guess. It's nice having had the time to talk to you all. I know it's been a while. I mean, it's hard to do anything at the moment, really. Excuses. I make excuses. Come on, Mr. Murky Murky. Murky Murky. And... Yeah, see you guys soon. <laughs>